So, yeah, I see that Fall Out Boy, Good Charlotte, and uh, Peter Parker and Spider Man 3 probably got the best of you. Whatever. No, uh, okay, well, we're recording. Hi, everybody. Welcome to yet another edition of That's Right, I Said It on the Record. Not that anything matters. I am Carl Octavian, and I'm standing next or sitting next to what used to be Three Ball Josh who's undergoing a metamorphosis, and your name now is? Emo McGee. Emo McGee. So, um, Ian the Emo, I like that better. Ian the Emo, it's more dark. Ian the Emo, okay. Like life. So, uh, what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and uh, give you our disclaimer. Betty, I'll let Ian give you the disclaimer. I'm gonna bypass it for the day. Warning. This video is going to contain dark and depressing topics. So, uh, to the point where you just might even want to cut yourself. I already want to cut myself. Because life is nothing but pain. Wow. Well, I guess you kind of touched on it. If you guys haven't figured out what we're talking about now, we're talking about the wonderful fashion trend or style that is, or lifestyle that is emo. What do you think? Emo is, like you said, it's more than just a style of clothing or music. It's, it's a way of life. It's people who are smarter, smart enough to see the darkness and pain in the world and that's why we're so emotional and candid with you know everybody who's sitting there and laughing and happy and having a good time they're just lying to themselves because they 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 won't acknowledge the truth and that is life is pain Now that we've gotten that little bit of bullshit off the way, why don't we tell us how we really feel about emo? Thank God, this just pissed me <laughs> off, dude. All right. Emos, listen. You guys are friggin' gay, all right? I don't mean gay as in, like, homosexual, because, you know what? I have nothing against the homosexuals in and of themselves. Especially homosexual females. Hey, more power to you. But emo guys, come on, all right? You run around wearing girls' pants. Let's face it, you do, all right? You guys will, I, from my understanding, make out with other guys, but not be gay, but not be homosexual about it. Bullshit. If you're making out with dudes, that makes you a homosexual. You or at least by it, curious. If at you the think very about it, you're gay. If you, like, imagine it. All right, and you know what? I mean, everybody has a little bit of gayness to them, all right? Everybody's got that little bit. It's like, okay, you know what? That would almost make me gay. I I dig Pat Benatar's music. I'm not going to lie. I think, you know, when I hear the song, you know, Heartbreaker, I rock out to it, all right? Everybody's got that little bit of, you know, gayness to them. I'm not going to mention a certain person, you know, who was also involved with these videos, but somebody has both of the Spice Girl albums. All right, is that does that mean we're gonna hate them? Had Absolutely. had both of the Spice Girls albums, and yes, liking the Spice Girls does not make me gay. It just makes me like five hot chicks that sing and like you know wear Union Jacks. I mean that's whatever. Yeah. Um, anyways, straight away from the topic, back onto you. Emo yes. Fuck. All right, listen up. All right, you are the only people I know that God's people joke you. So seriously. You're probably at the bottom of the food chain underneath. Like, if you go to high school, I can't imagine what it's like to walk a day in your shoes because when nerds take your lunch money... Yeah, exactly. You know, I You've mean, got some serious problems. You've got... And like you said, when you've got the goth kids making fun of you, you know you need to reevaluate yourself in life, okay? You need to reevaluate your status as to where you stand who you are, because everybody, in, in high school, you got your cliques, you know, you got your gangsters, your wannabes, you know, you got your nerds, you got this, that, you got your emo kids, you got your goth kids, you got your metal kids, 
and they all hang out with each other and all that stuff like that. And you're gonna make fun of each other, but you know, there's a, a ranking in these like little cliques or tribes or whatever. Emos, you're pretty much on the bottom. I mean, and computer where, geeks are better than you. And where did it come from? I mean, where did being emo come from? I mean, I know like the emo it, it, was short for like the emoticons. Was no, 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 no. It's not. It's not short for emoticons. It's it, it's short for emotional. As in whiny little pussies, okay? And it started, you know, that and, you know, the whole same kid thing, which we'll get onto that one here in, here in a minute. Basically, it's, I think England has actually given credit for, you know, coming up with the whole emo and scene kid thing. And it's basically a subculture of, I guess, uh, like the hardcore, you know, um, you know, like the screaming, heavy metal type thing. It's like a subculture of that because they're, you know, it's emotional, and some even some people even give punk credit for you stop, know starting stop, stop, stop. it. Yeah. See, see, it doesn't add up because when I think of punk and when I think of metal and when I think of you know hardcore guy, the last thing I think of is emotional guys is wearing big ass fucking flannel sweaters and wanting to cry and cut themselves. Well, is flannel it, sweaters is grunge. There's a subtle difference there. Okay, well, even grunge is bad. I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, what what the fuck? And what makes a kid want to go emo? Really? Basically, it's all a matter of, I'm a whiny little pussy, and I want people to feel sorry for me. Because they, they want to talk about how, like, oh, the life is so sad, and, you know, their parents just don't get... Their parents who are happily married, okay? You and... Uh, I'd say mid to upper middle class, you know, people, white people. So they're talking damn about, sure don't see too many black emos, I talk, promise you that. There are one or two, but, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, it's all talking about, oh, you know, nobody gets me, nobody understands me, except for other whiny little pussy emos. And it just, it's really upsetting because I just want to, every emo kid I see, I just want to slap some sense into them. No, I, I don't even want to slap them. What I want them to do is I want them to go ahead, uh, you know, put on their eye liner, go swimming so you can get the tears and everything. You got your hair all lean down in front of your face. Dive to the bottom of the pool and inhale. Stop breathing permanently. Shuffle but you might, but you might like that. Coil. You might like that a little bit. Too well, and that's the thing. Like in a lot of, you know, emo circles or whatever, a lot of them will pretend or at least act, you know, they're that like they're, you know, uh, suicidal and stuff like that even though most of them really aren't you know okay you're gonna start whining and bitching because your parents bought you a Ford instead of a Mercedes <laughs> I don't give a gas oh my god and, and, and what about the scene kids well I mean what's what's yeah you know, I thought I thought they were for the kids action you know the little click that hang around watch seen it movie to play scene game yeah you know what you know here I am I'm I'm 25 years old as of this recording and, you know, I always thought I was pretty into the whole, you know, like, had my finger on the pulse of society and stuff like that. Evidently, this whole scene kid thing is like an offshoot of emo. Basically, you got the same fashion, you got the hair in front of their eyes and, and wearing makeup like an 80s hairband. Um, wearing the girl jeans. For some reason, these guys like to wear girl jeans and this. Um, you know, up north, they actually have male capris out now? Wow. Did that's, not know that. That's a fashion. Male capris. Who the fuck wants to wear capris? I'm sorry, I'm trying, I've been trying to refrain from cursing, but... What Seriously. Do, yeah, what do you wear capris? So basically, seeing kids is like emo, only less depressed. Okay. Well, let's... They're almost like the, uh... The metrosexuals, if you will, of the teenage genre. Oh, the homosexuals. And not like homosexuals as in... Well, see, metrosexuals is like being homosexual without the benefits. Well, yeah. You know, I mean, I guess, it, I mean, it makes sense to an extent, you know, the whole, I wish I was queer so I could get chicks. It's a Bloodhound Gang song, but it makes sense if you know gay guys. Do. But, I mean, I don't know. I bottom, just, bottom line, be yourself, but don't be emo. We got to go ahead and move on to our grand announcement. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Up now, up now, up now. Available online for the first time. Cafepress.com slash T-R-I-S-I-O-T-R. Trissy Odor. That's right. The That's Right Center on the record online store is officially up. 
Go check it out. Buy some stuff. Maybe Josh will come and visit your house. You know. So, check it out. It's going to be awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and say that uh, I wish my grass was emo so it would cut itself. Disturbing. And no other record? Down the, across the stream, not down the river. That's pretty good. It's a raspberry jam? Yeah. yeah.